Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use my custom death sound mod in Geometry Dash. First I'll be showing you how to install the mod loader Geode, and if you already have it installed like, like half of the community already does, uh, you can just skip to this timestamp on your screen. What you want to do is you want to go to this website, geodesdk.org, and you want to just go to the downloads and download for Windows. So you want to save this installer to somewhere, then uh, open it, and you just run it. And then it's basically like any other installer. Uh, and then if you want to, you can select a custom location for Geometry Dash here. For now, I've just, it by default, it's on the Steam location, you know, so Steam. Ignore all of these. I don't know why I have those. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to install it real quick. And Geode is actually a really cool mod loader. It doesn't just have the Death Sounds mod. There is literally hundreds of amazing, useful mods out there on Geode. As you can see right here, just loads and loads of them. It's, it's amazing. Um, but the one we're focused on today is, uh, is the Death Sounds mod. So what you want to do at this point is you want to click the little geode button down here and go to this tab, download. Then you want to search for custom death sound and it should show up right here. This is the mod um, and then you just want to click get and then you want to click install. And now the game will ask you to restart the game. Um, so you can click restart now real quick and it will restart the game for you. So what you want to do to add your custom death sound is to click view and then click this little settings icon down here. So here are the settings for the mod. So for now I'm only going to choose one death sound but in a bit I'll show you how to do multiple. So to select one individual sound you go to this death sound file setting and click the plus icon and now you can select a sound. So for me, I'm going to set select the metal pipe falling sound effect because um, I think it's, I don't know, just a good example. Uh, and so yeah, so now we can test this real quick. So as you can see, die, it plays the sound effect. However, you'll notice that it doesn't play the full sound effect, which can be kind of annoying. You can have her change that by going back into the settings and clicking the stop sound on reset setting to be off. Now it will play the sound, the full sound, even after you reach on. So you can have this beautiful, amazing sound killing your ear. So that's cool and all, but you know what's even funnier than one hilariously loud death sound? A whole folder of hilarious death sounds. So here, I can go back into the settings and click, uh, where is it? Click extra death sounds enabled. Uh, now it says extra death sounds, but it actually doesn't add on to the original death sound. It just overrides it. So you can see it overrides the main sound. If you're watching this in the future, this may have been renamed to something else, but you know, it should be similar. So now you can select a full folder of death sounds and the game will randomly choose between them. So here I can press this little plus icon, just like I did with the individual file. And if you want to, you can just place the sounds in this folder that it creates for you. I, however, am just going to select another folder that I've already prepared, so I'll go in here, click GD Custom Death Sounds, this folder I've created, select folder, and there you go, you've got some randomized sounds. Now one more thing I want to show off at the same time is you have this pitch randomization. So basically what this does is it randomizes the pitch of the sound, so you can set it to say this and up to this, and it will basically, it'll randomize the pitch. Uh, every time the sound plays. Um, so we can apply that real quick and let's see how this goes. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's that's that. Um, and one more thing I want to show you is that you can actually also change the level complete sound effect if you want. So here you can click enable level complete sound or custom level complete sound. And then you can select a custom level complete sound effect. I believe it's somewhere in here. Yeah, here we go. Wowee! Uh, this is a modified version of the original uh, complete sound that I have. And there we go. Um, so that's how that works. And also you can change the volume for the for both the death sound and for the level complete sound as well. And that's all of the features. So um, if this video does well, I will make a version for Android. Right now, all you really need to know is that it's basically the same process, except you just use the Android file explorer thing instead of the Windows one um, when selecting the folder slash sound with, with this thing. Um, that's basically all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful and all that, and I will see you all later.